Hi, my name is Chris Lasse. I'm the video production manager at Legal Services of New Jersey. I shoot and edit video, do A2J, and I manage our social media. And my presentation is on social media metrics that matter. And it assumes you have a basic knowledge of social media and no money to spend on it. Um, so there are plenty of social media management systems out there. But the following are free, useful, and you already have access with your account. Twitter Analytics and TweetDeck, Facebook Insights, YouTube Analytics, Bitly, and uh, your own web analytics, which I guess technically aren't free but should be available to you. Now, a lot of the social media info out there is geared toward marketers, people trying to sell something. But as legal services organizations, we're not selling. Rather, we're spreading important legal information to those who need it. Our goal is to use analytics to maximize the number of people who are helped by our content. So this is my constant refrain. Humans are greater than numbers. 5,000 followers looks good on a report. But if you got there by reposting cat photos, well, you're probably not fulfilling your company's mission. Human connection, the social webs that we construct, are essential for social outreach. So before I get into the metrics that matter, let's look at some metrics that don't matter as much as you think. Uh, Facebook likes and Twitter followers. Now these only scratch the surface of your analytics, and they don't really tell you anything about your performance. Uh, what matters more is building relationships and cultivating a core of people who will share and engage with your content. Now it turns out that time does matter, but not in the way you might think. These graphs are uh, when my organization's Facebook followers are online. It doesn't matter what day I'm posting, the difference between uh, the highest traffic day, lowest traffic day isn't that much. And as long as I post between 9 a.m. and 10 p.m., plenty of people online. Plus, if I post at 9 p.m. every Friday, because that's when the most people are online, I'm missing the attorney who signs on every day at 7, and uh, the tenant facing landlord issues at 2. My post is going to get lost in the endless Twitter and Facebook feeds, and both are going to miss that. So what are the four things to look for in your social media analytics? They're reach, <laughs> shares, engagement, and sentiment. And you can track all of these for free with the resources I listed earlier. So let's break these down. The reach, the shares, the engagement, and the sentiment. The first thing to look at is reach. Reach is the number of people who see your posts. Pretty simple metric. And there are a few ways to measure it. And a related concept is impressions. This is how many times your post is seen. So if I see your post five times, you have a reach of one, but five impressions. Now reach is important because it indicates how well you got the word out. Whether anyone was paying attention, well, we'll get into that with engagement. So impressions, on the other hand, are important because they increase familiarity with you and your content. Because the more times you see something, the more likely you are to remember it. The second thing to look for is sharing. Sharing is the bridge between reach and engagements. It's people seeing your post and determining it's worth spreading. On Facebook and YouTube, it's called a share. On Twitter, it's called retweeting. And uh, more shares lead to greater reach. Now, shares are better than likes. A like says that someone abstractly likes your brand, but a share says that someone likes your content and wants others to know about it. And it creates this virtuous cycle. Shares increase reach, which in turn increase shares, and um, that's really virality in a nutshell, right? That's social media, the circulation and spread of information. So the third piece is engagement. You want people to engage or interact in some, with, some, with your content in some way. You're looking for things like link clicks, video plays, image views, and they'll show up in your Facebook and Twitter analytics, but if you have the means, Take a look at Bitly and your web traffic uh, to see uh, where the traffic's coming from. Now, engagement matters because it shows that people actually are digesting your information. They're visiting your websites, viewing your videos, downloading documents. Engagements move beyond shares to show that your information is taking hold. Finally, we'll look for sentiment. And sentiment is the way people talk to you and about you. And it sort of happens in the background, and it's sort of hard to track. You'll have to use uh, Facebook and TweetDeck to do a little digging. Uh, you're going to look for metrics like mentions and comments um, to see what people are saying. Now, 
Sentiment matters because it's direct feedback on how to create better posts in the future. On a given post, you may get some people saying, this is a great resource, while others are angry and confused. And you're asking, well, what went wrong here? Or what went right here? And how can I better engage these people in the future? So one final note here, use caution when measuring rates. It can be better to look at raw numbers. Because if my post has an 80% engagement rate, but reached only five people, only four people have engaged. If my post has a 5% engagement rate, but reached 1,000 people, 50 people have engaged, 12 and a half times more. So I want to wrap up with this. Clicks, views, and likes mean nothing if they don't help you or your followers in some way. We have to create social media with purpose. That means participating in and changing conversations, building online communities, and working towards systemic change. But that's another presentation. <laughs> now remember, the whole point of analytics is to improve your social media. Great analytics will help you to construct better campaigns but it's not enough to simply look at the numbers. You have to learn from them. You have to experiment. And you probably have to fail a few times along the way. So to recap, the things that matter are reach, shares, engagement, and sentiment. And remember that humans are greater than numbers. And again, if you have any questions, I'm happy to talk afterwards. And I'm happy to uh, spread any resources if anyone's interested. Thank you very much.